Let's have a look at how to insert a data field into a report. One of the great benefits of working with reports is that you probably have already worked with forms and they are really remarkably similar. Once you know how to do things on forms, it opens up just about everything that you can do with a report. So we're going to create a report. We'll use the wizard again just to run through very quickly to create a report based on our vehicles table and we're going to add in a few fields um, I'm just going to have my manufacturer and model and price and quickly flick through the wizard don't want to do any sorting I'm quite happy with what I've got there okay so we can see our report uh, where we've got the manufacturer details and the price of the product what I would like to do is add to this report um, a column to say what the dealership commission might be if that uh, car is sold. And the commission is 10%. We don't want to add this into the database because it just increases the, the size of the database, makes it that little bit slower, that little bit bigger. So by putting it in a calculated control, we minimize the space usage. Let's switch to design view and of course in previous videos we've already looked at how to format the properties of the various boxes and in the last video we looked at how to concatenate and this really is just combining those two skills of using properties and concatenate. Because it's a calculation we need to add a text box. Once we've got that selected, we can choose whereabouts on the report we want the box to be. And it automatically gives us our label. Now, I don't like that label, so we're going to change the properties and call it, change the caption and call it commission. That looks okay. And we'll also move that I can select just that by using the cut tool to put it in the header section. And then I'll just move that across. It's a cumbersome way of doing things when you're working with uh, moving these labels between the sections. Okay, so we've got our commission looking good. And there's our unbound text box for us to do our calculation in. Whenever we're doing a calculation, make things a little bit bigger to make it easier to see, we always start the calculation with the equal sign, just like we do in a spreadsheet. Um, and basically we just add the name of the field that we want to do the calculation on, in this case the price. And whenever we're working with fields, square brackets. So equals square bracket the name of the field and then quite simply what is the calculation well I want to multiply by 10 percent let's see what that looks like so there's our calculated field oops so in 10 percent 430 pounds compared to the price of the vehicle of course, that does not look very tidy. So let's switch back to design view and do a little bit of alteration. First of all, of course, you can move the fields about to get them more in line in the same shape and size. Now that can be tricky, especially matching up formatting. So remember, you can always use Format Painter to match things up. For in case of your formatting and background colors. Remember also, you can look at the properties of a field and look at its particular sizes. And then you could type those sizes in to the properties of the new object. That blue line is just an object by itself, so I can click and drag and make that blue line a little bit bigger. Okay. 
and then finally we can change the formatting using properties and we'll change the formatting to currency and we'll remove the number of decimal places to zero see what that looks like now well that's a little bit better I haven't quite got my line right uh, and the commission needs right aligned but you can see there that the formatting of the commission itself is now in currency um, with zero decimal places so that is adding a data field to a report very briefly we use the control toolbox to add a text box once we've got our text box we can type in any calculation there we choose and then it's just a question of doing the formatting remember calculation always starts with the equal sign and then the name of the field and whatever calculation you want now you can do these calculations on more than one field if you had a field of VAT for example you could do price times VAT whatever you want in those calculations and you'll remember this from when we worked with forms again another look at the properties because you can use in the control source the expression builder I'm not going to go over how to use the expression builder here we did that in the forms video so if you want to know more about expression builder go and have a look at the forms video on calculated controls in forms calculated controls on a report